This year I finally had the opportunity to visit Ireland and aim for my first Irish pike. As a pike fishing fanatic, it is hard to explain that I didn't visit Ireland before. Pierre and I have been talking about it for quite some time now and with the opening of the Prater Guiding Lodge in Ireland, the timing is perfect. Well, hopefully the fishing is too. Let's hope the pike are already in the spring mood as it is mid-March and thus a bit early. I prepare some lures and reels and get ready for what's about to come. The boat is in the water. I'm gonna hit the lake, try and see if we can spot some Irish pike. Weather looks good. Hopefully the wind will behave the rest of the day, but it's uh, it's not warm, but it's not cold either. That's good. If you look at the lake now, it's pretty calm, but we'll see how she behaves the rest of the day. On camera, Alexander. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> 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 big one. <laughs> big fish, fishing guys. See you, my friend. <gasps> oh, nice. <laughs> so on a scale of 1 to 10, how slow is it here? Uh, minus uh, 1. <laughs> I will get them. So the shallow water isn't really great. Uh, two fish so far. Mimu. I'm for Mimu. Yeah, <laughs> Pierre's gonna go for the mouse. I'm probably gonna get some soft bait on as well and we are gonna fish the deeper edges and see if the pike are still in that wading area. Because they're definitely not in numbers on the shallows. Every single shallow spot we hit is like one or two takes. Usually small ones. We only have two fish up so far. Oh, 
that guy. Really? Yes. Yeah. Small little tap. Yeah. 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 Just a tap, and then the pressure fell away. So it's almost like it pushed it. Okay. Yeah. Contact there on the drop. That's a fat one. It's a fat one. Well done, buddy. Just when the bait start to change direction to the boat, done. Nice. 26 centimeter shed. That was a slow day. Luckily, Pierre got a couple of good fish from the uh, from the drop off, but that is an indication how we're gonna target them tomorrow. People order between four and seven meters. So that's hopeful for tomorrow. Uh, one good fish up today, but we got one more day left. So we're gonna grab some uh, some Guinness, grab some food, get some rest. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, Sean here from the cold but sunny Swedish wilderness. I got something really, really cool for you guys. As you all know, I've been using ground dance for years now. And this season, the new gambler jacket and bib has been helping me to battle the elements, no matter what nature has thrown at me. The new gambler jacket is lightweight, flexible in the back with a stretchy material. And most importantly, it keeps the wind and the rain out. We are offering you a chance to win a full set. That means a bib, a jacket, but also the really cool Seaneed sneakers We'll throw a couple of t-shirts and some caps into the mix as well. All you need to do is read the description down below how to participate, follow Grundance and Grundance Europe, obviously, and we will pick a winner next week. Good luck entering the competition and I'll see you guys out on the lake. So uh, second day now on the lake uh, with Sean and Alex. Uh, it's been quite difficult yesterday. We tried to fish all the shallow water, so we were thinking the fish start to move on shallow. But unfortunately, it was uh, quite slow, only a small pike. So we fish a little bit of uh, deep water on the end, and we have two contact with some uh, decent fish. So today the plan is to fish deep. Uh, totally different strategy, so we'll see. It's quite cold, nice, not too much wind yet. So I think it's going to be a good day, so let's go.
70% after three, two days, three days. Oh, the slow fishing continues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, go ahead, It's, uh, you know, I had a couple contacts. I think we had two fish following, and Pierre missed one on the, on the Muras. Uh, I had a small one following my bait, but it wasn't interested in the little wingman curly. Um, yeah, we're just aiming for the big fish. We're not going to hit the shallows because you only found like little fish on the shallow parts. So. Focus on the deeper water and see if we can get a big one. All in for one, but hopefully many takes. condition yes yeah. and she has leeches on like uh, lice yeah. <laughs> on the wingman mouse combo but uh, it took it without any hesitation as you can see Jump again, I guess. Yeah, yeah, here we <laughs> Now we find something. Yeah, we found something. Some She's happy. <laughs> <laughs> She's whispering like what a hit. It's a good take, yeah? Yeah, really good take. Let's see if we can get the, uh, <laughs> the bait out. Like on a five meter drop off. And just like the previous fish, it smashed it. And I was talking with Pierre about how you just need to grind it out, and eventually you will find the moment and the window that they're biting. and they seem to be feeding, but really happy with this fish. Nice. Ah. One meter six. First meter plus bike in the endurance boat. So I'm happy to have this honor, Pierre, to catch nice. the first meter plus bike in a new boat. So uh, beautiful Irish meter plus bike. On the mouse curly combo. So let's get her back. And uh, the bite seems to be on. So hopefully yeah. we can catch a couple more like this. That wasn't, that wasn't the most subtle release ever, but thanks, Ooh, buddy. Nice one. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Nice one, Pierre. Nice little pike, yeah, that's cool. On the jumping shadow with a mouse. Buster Jack, we move back to the shallow, we try a new area near the dam and nice bike. It's cool. Good fish. Nice take right at the boat, that's cool. Yeah. Huh? Sweet. Okay, put it back. Nice. Bye bye. Yeah, yeah. It's a similar spot than uh, we fished before. Like six meters. And yeah, the light is going down, so the wind also, so we're going to try to get a nice one. Hopefully the fish are coming up. Right? Yeah. <laughs>
Nice one. So some action now. That's cool. We find him. Yeah, yeah. Belly, huh? Uh -huh. All right. Not the giant, but a take. It's good. A good take. C'est Arzer. Yeah, there. Two minutes before. Yeah, there. C'est c'est Arzer. Last pop, yeah. yeah All right, last pop. Let's make it count. The previous spot we had, uh, I think, like four fish coming up, but yeah, and the big one took Pierre's uh, mouse, but did uh, start shaking his head, and then it came off. And uh, Alexander had like three fish following, I think, yeah. And one actually came through the surface and tried to nibble it, but it uh, all in the game. It is what it is. Last place. Last place. Let's go. Yeah. Nice last spike, I think, for today. It's time to, to close those two days. It was nice. Difficult, but uh, we, we have some contact. Sean catch his first Irish pike. Yes, I did. So it was good. <laughs> and uh, now it's time to uh, maybe a pizza and a beer. Oh, it's yeah. good for, for today. <laughs> See nice you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello, Sean. <laughs> Don't start shit talking me again. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this boat now? <laughs> yeah, it was quite uh, quite windy the last three days. Uh, so we used the front motor quite a lot. Uh, that's the Ultrax 112. So I used the 36 volts uh, orbital cell. So I'm going to check uh, how much battery I have left after those three uh, three days of fishing. So really easy to check. I have the, ba the battery orbital cell. You just press here, and they tell you how much you have left. So 48 percent, so almost uh, half of the capacity of the, the battery after three three hard days of fishing. So it's quite good. Endurance is building both. In Europe, bass boats, which is quite unique. Normally it's aluminium boats in Europe, but yeah. now you have a tank like this and it behaves uh, really, really well out in the water. So that was impressive. So, so nice, you're gonna enjoy yourself a lot with uh, this boat. Yeah, coming I'm going to enjoy and all the customers are going to enjoy oh, as yes, well. Sure. So it's, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. We should just start at Predator Guiding. Yeah, we just opened the, the lodge. You're actually the first person uh, at the lodge yeah. this year. So, uh, so it was one honor. I got the first meter pike and I was yeah, the first person exactly. at the lodge. So that's, that's good. good. That's good. And now it's good. It's good. It's going to be nice. Luke and Ardin is going to uh, guide with me for the whole, uh, whole season. And uh, yeah. so you and Luca together. Right? We have the business together, yes. and so yeah, it's going to be great. So great. Yeah. Well, if you guys, if you want to come over to Ireland and experience the pike fishing that Ireland has to offer, with the experience that Pierre has together with Luca, I think you're like fully booked for 2022. 2022 is fully booked, yeah. but uh, still some some spots left for 2023. So yeah. Everybody is more than welcome to, uh, to join us and hurry up and uh, uh, yes. come do some pike fishing here in Ireland. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, and, see you uh, soon. If you want to come over to the Netherlands, you're welcome. We'll do. You too, Alexander. So we can fish a bit. And, uh, see you guys in the next video. Cheers. See you. Cheers. Cheers.